Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Today I'm in the kitchen with another 360 video chef video from jeffmobile.com. Today I'm going to be making a wonderful recipe called Pressure Cooker Macaroni and Cheese. The original recipe was inspired by a blog called dadcooksdinner.com and today I'm going to be changing the recipe a little bit. Um, I'm going to be adding at the end um, some nice chopped red peppers to make it a little bit more unique macaroni and cheese. Other than that, pretty much the same. I'm gonna use slightly different amounts. So I'll put the recipe that I'm using on my blog, which is instantpot.jeffmobile.com. Also, this video is available on my YouTube channel, jeffmobile.com. So let's uh, check out what I'm gonna be doing today. I'll give you a close-up video of some of the ingredients. So you'll see the video up here on your screen. I'm just gonna film it with my phone here, so. As you can see, we have the Catelli Smart Macaroni. This is a 375 gram box. We have the chopped, finely chopped red pepper. We have Parmesan cheese and a shaking version. One can of evaporated milk. About one and a half teaspoons of yellow mustard. We have two tablespoons of butter. We have about two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. We've got some kosher salt, a little bit of lemon to squeeze on top at the end, panko, Japanese style breadcrumbs. We have three cups of water, just ordinary cold water is good. And we've also got uh, two boiler safe baking pans. And of course, the main attraction, which you can see down here, is the Instant Pot Programmable Pressure Cooker. And this one is uh, one of the more recent models that has different settings. Pressure Cooker Instant Pot is an electrical pressure cooker that is very good at controlling the temperature, so it's very safe to use, much safer than a traditional stove top pressure cooker. So, I will uh, now proceed with the recipe. The first thing I need to do is to pressure cook the pasta and the spices. So I'm going to first put the macaroni in the pressure cooker, in the instant pot pressure cooker. Make sure you have the inner pot installed, because that will give you much better results. If you put it directly in the pressure cooker, you, you're at a risk of electric shock. So this is a 375 gram bag a box of macaroni from Catelli. It has white pasta plus fiber. I'll dump it in. I don't know if you can see, I can pretty much see there. I'll move it a bit closer. You can have a look down there. Let's see. There we go. You can see the pasta going in there. I'm now going to add let's see, a couple more noodles. The butter. So it doesn't say you have to melt the butter, so I'll just break it up into a few bits and throw it in there. Pretty warm because it's warm day today, so the butter is nicely melted. Oh, flew everywhere. Okay. And I need to add the mustard. This is uh, one and a half teaspoons of yellow mustard. Put that in as well. Very nice. Okay, it's pretty much in there. And I need to add the hot pepper sauce. So it calls for, let's see here, one teaspoon of hot pepper sauce. I like to use the sriracha sauce, which is this um, kind of common in Vietnamese or Asian restaurants. It's also really great for burgers. Very, very uh, famous sauce around the world called the uh, sriracha. And uh, I will put that, one teaspoon of that into the mix as well. It's pretty spicy, but it adds a really rich, nice flavor. Okay, pop that in. And next, I will add the salt. So it calls for... How much salt? Two teaspoons of table salt. 
I will use the half teaspoon to get that out of here. So I want four half teaspoons, it would be two, two teaspoons. One, two, three. Okay, so that's two teaspoons of kosher salt. And now it says to add four cups of water. Well, I have a slightly smaller box of macaroni, so I'll be using only three cups of water. Dump that in. And it says to stir that all up, so I'll grab my wooden spoon and stir that in. Just to make sure I don't waste any of this sauce, I'll just use the water there to clean off the spoons. Go. So as you can see, I'm just stirring up the ingredients I mixed in. That's very nice. I'll give you a bit of a close-up picture of it as I'm stirring. There we go. Just mix to combine. Everything will get cooked up there nicely in the instant pot. This is a pressure cooker that seals up and it has a high pressure and high temperature so it cooks a lot faster than the normal stove top and gives much more rich flavors, unlocks the flavors of a lot of different foods. Okay, great. And so it basically says to use this on manual mode for four minutes. So when the cooking time is done I'll release the pressure. So I'll just clean off the end the, around the middle of the lip here so it will seal better. Because the worst thing is if it doesn't seal and just cooks away for no, no reason. So clean that off so it's all good. I'll pop the lid on. And it goes like that. And I'll give you a close up of this instant pot. So the main thing here is the top is the sealing vent. This should be set to the middle position, which is ceiling. And also, you got to make sure, i got to show you this, make sure that you have the inner liner, this um, met white silicone liner around the inside of the pot. It has to be there for it to seal properly. So those two things, liner and also the ceiling adjustment. And then for the, I'll go down here for the um, menu. So I want to do manual for four minutes. So hit manual and adjust the time to four minutes. After a few seconds, it will beep and get ready to go. There we go, it's on. So now we just wait for this thing to cook. It takes about 10 minutes to heat up and then four minutes to cook. So I'll see you in about 15 minutes. All right, so the Instant Pot just finished its cycle. It beeped and I pushed the off button. I'm now going to remove the lid and then stir in the evaporated milk and the cheese. So this is very hot, so you gotta be careful. Oh yeah, I have to quick release it first. Good thing it had a safety feature. So I'll just turn it, unplug it from the wall, turn it out like this and I'll turn on the vent and I'll do the quick release. As you can see, all the steam's coming out. Make sure not to touch the metal part with your hands, it's very hot. To be extra safe, I recommend using the oven mitt, such as this nice silicone one. That way you don't have any danger of touching that metal part. The steam is pretty much released now, so I can try putting the lid, and there we go. So we can see the steaming of the noodles, this is great. Move this lid over here, that's safe. 
can have a look in here and you can see the noodles are look pretty well cooked. I'm going to put the instant pot on again. This time on saute mode on low setting. So I'll adjust the setting here to saute and adjust to a low. And now I'm going to stir in the evaporated milk. This is the can of evaporated milk right here. Just pour it in. And I'll stir that up. These noodles look really good. Now it says to test eating a piece of pasta just to make sure the pasta is in a nice well done, so I'll just try a little piece. Mmm. Yep, it's cooked. So I will now stir in the cheese. It says to put in the cheese about one handful at a time. So I'll just put in a handful, let it go in, and I'll melt it by stirring the pot. So just doing a close up. You can see the texture of the noodles, looks amazing. Wow. Okay, just stir in the red peppers. This is the unusual part that I'm going to make this my own recipe by adding some of these chopped red peppers. Dump that in and it'll give a very interesting looking mac and cheese with the red color. Yeah, just the red mac and cheese. Red pepper gets covered in the cheese too, so that looks splendid. Wow. I think that was a good idea. Okay, so I'll turn off the instant pot now. Done heating up that mixture. Forgot to add the uh, Parmesan cheese, so I'll sprinkle a bunch of that Parmesan in there too. That'll add a even more cheesy flavor. Mix that Parmesan in. So we got the two cheeses and the peppers and the evaporated milk. Okay, and next thing I'm gonna do is pour the macaroni into these nice little uh, trays here. Okay, I'm going to top this with the breadcrumbs, the panko. Here we have some Japanese style breadcrumbs. I'll just sprinkle the top of the mac and cheese with the breadcrumbs. Just shake it on there, it should be good. It's amazing. Really good texture going in. Mm. So I'm going to pop these under the broiler for about five minutes. I'll just set a timer for about two minutes just to check on it. Okay, so I spent about two minutes and the broiler is pretty hot, so turn off the timer. Mmm, it's really good. Alright, so if you can look over here, I'm going to serve some of this mac and cheese into a nice handmade ceramic bowl. And just take a big loop of this. It looks amazing. You can see that right here. Alright, here's the taste test. It looks really amazing. Wow. Mmm. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. That's super good. Mm. Wow. Incredible. Well, thanks again for watching this video. Hope you enjoy more recipes on jeffmobile.com. Have a great day and bye-bye uh, for now.